in this video we are going to break down this premium 3d viral reel inside the mixer so you can get the project file for this tutorial using the first link in the description let's get straight into it in the edit page of davinci resolve make sure you create a new timeline with 30 frames per second and vertical resolution so i'm just going to get a fusion composition drag and drop that here we are going to make that somewhere around here and we are just going to open that fusion composition in the fusion page now in the fusion page we are going to just make sure we bring down this one here get a background node and connect your background node to your media out now here i'm just going to bring in the media in node and i'm going to make sure we are viewing that this way it won't show anything just change it from timeline to background first thing we have here is a white background so i'm going to change this background color to white now if you take a look at it all of this is in 3d space so let's come to somewhere around frame 45 yes somewhere around here and i'm going to go to my media pool i'm going to bring this coffee cup here and i'm just going to quickly name that i'm just going to add a transform node to this one and then add an image plane to this one add a camera and search for a renderer 3d and we can just connect the renderer to this background which is going to create this mesh node now nothing which is going to show here just come to the camera and make sure you increase the z value till it's around where you want it to be let's say somewhere around here is good yeah now we have that one okay now we're going to add all of these components to the scene then just shift this one and i'm going to go to the media pool and i have this barcode here you can add a, an image plane to the barcode and connect the barcode to this one i'm just going to quickly name this one what i can do is i'm just going to reduce the size from here and maybe take the z value backwards so that it's behind the cup i'm going to take it up to somewhere around the corner there yeah you can copy these values come to this one this coffee Control c Control v i'm going to add a gaussian blur to that one and add an image plane to this one and connect the image plane to this one if we come to this image plane you can come to this value if you reduce the size you see that here i'm going to reduce the size take it backwards like take it backwards in z space and you can bring it down from here yes that is it so we can rotate it do a y a z rotation like this you can copy these values after that you just need to copy this image plane Control c Control v and you take this connect this gaussian blur to this image plane and this image plane to this mesh 3d you're going to have two of them just take this other image plane go to the y value take it up i think this one is okay you can copy these values and come to the gaussian blur and you can increase the blur strength to somewhere around here so that all of these are blurred out yeah in order to add this line running across the screen i'm going to get a background node i'm going to add a background node again I'm going to get a polygon mask here, connect this one here. I'm going to make sure I take this one and I can draw something like something like this. I'm going to select all of these and hit this one. It's like S, the spline editor. Now let's take a look at this one. We're going to change this background color. Let's just pick this color from here and go to this polygon. You're going to uncheck solid, remove this animation, and you're going to increase the border width now we can add an image plane to this one and connect this image plane to this one now let's take a look at this it's going to appear like this we can increase the size of this and let's take it behind in z space increase the size again maybe i can come to this cup in the middle let's take it up i'm going to add this text here just get a text node Control c Control v bring this text node here somewhere around here let's just connect this one to the merge 3d and if we go to the merge 3d to try to arrange that where it's supposed to be we take it down yeah you can't see it because it's white so we're just going to change the text color from white to black 
then we can come back here and just arrange this here and just make sure that we fix the sign yeah i think we are done with setting up this scene here yeah so let's try to animate this one it starts around frame nine go back to around frame nine just come to the coffee we're going to keyframe the y and the z value at frame nine then come to somewhere around 30 frames we're going to keyframe it again it should be here straight go back to this one i'm going to make sure that i yeah and here you can rotate it to this side yeah make sure you rotate it to somewhere around here however you want you can rotate it like this and you take it down out of the screen yes just make sure you take it down out of the screen now you can go to spline with that one make sure you select all of that and we're going to ease out cubic now before we take a look at that make sure you come to your render and change it from software to hardware render i think that is good now So I'm just going to shift this to this side and if you look at it from here you see that there's a drop shadow so we're just going to add a drop shadow to that one so we can play with this drop shadow yeah something around here I think it's better now we have that so come to frame 13 come to the polygon and you're going to keyframe the polygon let's take a look at make sure that we are looking at it from here keyframe the position at frame 13 either the position or the length at frame 13 and maybe frame 20 keyframe it go back to this one we're just going to take the position to this side yes take it down to zero go to spline select all of these you can just hit s so that it takes its time as it's moving across the screen there yeah good now for this text we're just going to maybe frame 12 you're going to come to this text and you're going to get let's take a look at this text from here so we're going to let me zoom that in. We're going to get a, a rectangle to this one and make sure we reduce the rectangle size to fit that one. Yes. And we're going to connect the rectangle to this text and come to somewhere around frame 12. We're going to keyframe the center X and Y and go maybe frame 35. For this particular animation, it's an opacity animation for each line. What I choose to do here is I'm just going to take this one up like come back to the first one and take this one up like this now i'm going to increase the soft edge to something around here and we're going to go to spline select all of this and hit s so that if i play it now you're going to see that it yes it's going to be like it's one line after another each text it's on its own line for this one so we're just going to use this one for the sake of this you know after effects uses layer so each text is on its own layer if you want to do this in davinci resolve you have to get one two three four text node let's keep going the only thing left now is our camera animation and let's go back to frame 9 we're not going to use this camera we're just going to say shift space a xf 3g and i'm going to add a keyframe at frame 9 i'm going to go maybe frame 45 i'm going to add another keyframe so at frame let's make sure we are looking at that here and i'm going to let me bring down this one fit yes so at this frame we're just make, going to make sure you have to also add and let's just take control c this this one we're going to add it to the barcode yeah so that it has like this uh drop shadow here now we're just going to go back to our transform keyframe it here and we're just going to take it out so we see nothing let's make sure everything is out of the screen yeah we're just going to go back yeah somewhere around here you can go to spline zoom to fit select all these out cubic now if you play that now good i think that we have that one at frame 40 we need to come back to this coffee cup here keyframe that one and go to somewhere around frame yes around frame 70 where we're just going to keyframe it again and keyframe the z value go back to this one now at frame 40 you're going to come back to this image frame you're going to keyframe the x translation and you're going to keyframe the rotation z again now go to somewhere around frame 65 or 70 frame 70 you're going to keyframe the z rotation again and translation you just need to change move this to the side and let's rotate it before doing that just like this and you move it out of the screen that's it now you can go to spline out cubic go to the z translation make sure you select this one out cubic now if we take a look at that you see yeah i think this one is okay now yes so the next thing what we have to do next is if you look at it carefully you're going to see that this one goes out of the screen upward and this one goes out of the screen to the left so we're just going to do that come to somewhere around frame 45 we're going to keyframe both of them frame 45 you just keyframe this one 
this one might be the x value and this one might be the y value and go to somewhere around frame 55 e frame it again and take it up upwards yes like that yes and this one down here at frame 55 take it to the left good now you have that and just select all and just make it s you don't need to make it fast yes now we have that so in order for us to make this transition you see that there's the transition between like this background comes out between the background and this one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a background node and i'm going to add an image plane to that background node yes here and i'm going to make the background color this color here i hope that is the color and i'm going to connect this one here good now you have it here now i'm just going to make sure that i position the, this background between this and that one let me show you what i'm saying so we are going to come to this image plane and make sure that we come back to somewhere where yes where this one is yes and it's okay yes it's good it's okay here now get an ellipse node and connect the ellipse to this background yes it has something like that and make sure you increase the soft edge create the expression at width and connect your width to the height now so that you have a perfect circle around frame 40 you can keyframe the height value and go to somewhere around frame 70 keyframe it again make sure it covers the entire screen here now we can come to this image plane and just increase the size of the image plane now we can come back to this one at the first frame just go back here and take it down to zero yes you see that the, this transition is between the coffee cup and that one so let me come back to this coffee cup i think it's moving out too fast let's uh we're going to go to this one maybe the x this the eggs we need to select this one and make sure we change this to this drop shadow is too sharp i don't like it so i want to fix it what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a background node and connect this drop shadow to this one and this background and this one to this one and this merge node i'm going to connect it so these are my drop shadow set now that we are here i think we have up to here yes you have to bring all of this so you have to create now this one this next scene which we can still do using this camera and yeah we can still do it using this camera so we're going to create this one we just need to add this text i'm going to just get a text node maybe pick this color from here and control c control v um this one we're just going to write other brands Should connect this one here you go to shading you're going to come to this one and make sure it has only this outline like this so you can even change it to the bold italic yeah and change this one to 1.5 you have to get all of these from here i'm just going to control c and bring it here control v and we're going to, going to change this background color to this color here i'm going to get a 3d merge and add an image plane to this text and we can just connect this one here connect this one here and finally connect this one here so if we take a look at this one it won't show anything because all of these image planes are like this let's start from the text we're just going to make sure that we move the text in front in z space like here then we increase the size somewhere around here and then this one just make sure you bring it in front in z space let's take it around here and let's look for where it starts animation somewhere around frame 58 go to this polygon open up these keyframes and make sure you open all of these up and select both of these take it to frame 60. yes so it starts its animation from frame 60. yes that's what we want now for this text we are just going to do an opacity animation for this one come to the image plane maybe if at frame 60 just go to the materials keyframe the opacity and go to somewhere around frame 70 or 75 and keyframe the opacity again go back to the first one and take it down to zero it's going to appear like that now you look at it you see that the barcode comes from this side the barcode appears from here so we're just going to come to this side here copy the barcode but without the drop shadow we're just going to copy Control c come to this side and maybe we can copy the image plane of this one of this one control control v control c control v and we add this one here 
yes it appears like that we're just going to take down the size we can come here search for a, a duplicate node yes we can duplicate that and then shift it to the side and we're just going to shift this to the side now around frame 85 we're going to keyframe the x the translation x and go back to around frame frame 70 we can keyframe this one just maybe say frame, frame 69 and keep take it out of the screen like this and don't forget make sure we go to spline s i'm just going to do s for that one come to this one it has an opacity animation so what is left is for us to bring in this cup again we just do the same thing this is the cup here you can name that if you want i'm going to add an image plane i'm going to bring this one here and connect this one here i need to bring it forward in z space yes bring it forward again yes that's to appear in front of this text that's what i wanted to do and i'm going to reduce the size you can always add a transform now i'm going to reduce the size bring it down here yes and let's see come to somewhere around frame 45 we're going to keyframe the z translation the z rotation and the y value now we're going to go to maybe around frame 80 we're going to keyframe that again go back to this one now we can just rotate it like this and take it down yes out of the screen i want it to start slow and end fast so i'm just going to select all of these now i can do something like ease in cubic so it starts slow and end fast no it doesn't work let's do ease out cubic yeah and from frame 80 if you look at it frame 80 you can just you come here you see it's moving to the side and at frame 80 we come to you, you can still use this transform keyframe you can keyframe the x value and let's just take it to frame 90 keyframe it again and at frame 90 let's just move it to the side we move it here and then we can go to spline just the x zoom to fit this in cubic yeah i think it's better from frame 88 we can go back to the edit page and we are just going to cut this one at frame 88 we're just going to make sure we cut this one at frame 88 and we open the second one in the fusion page i'm going to end the first part here but you can get the project file for the entire animation using the first link in the description i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye